Welcome. This is a the energy vibration really for you, the obsolete mensen. We zijn deze mensen as you been geboren um, tussen November 29 tot en met 17 of December. You bent and you bent under the zodiac energy of the new planet, the 13 planet obsolete. Dus ga even bekijken als je bent geboren tussen november 29 en um, december um, 17. Je bent onder de energy vibration of this new 13 planet obsolete. Oké, okay, dat is best wel een verrassing voor iedereen. En vanaf dit jaar 2018, ik ga jullie lezen apart gaan doen. Van weken doordat um, um, jullie hebben gewoon niet de waarheid um, was verteld. Wie zijn jullie? Um, ik heb een... Um, Twee um, video's over deze 13 planet. Wie zijn gestuurd? Jullie zijn gestuurd. Um, en nu de waarheid gaat boven water komen in de jaar 2018. En nu gaat jullie weten wie zijn jullie precies. Okay? Dus nogmaals. Um, Um, als je bent geboren, 29 november tot en met december 17, je bent en je vibrate onder de nieuwe um, 13 planet, de obsolete. Nou, jullie zijn een van de meest bijzonder en luckiest mensen, maar ook jullie zijn de genezen en genezer, de healers of this planet. Dus again, jullie or the healers of this planet you heal the people on this planet okay not the planet but the people on this planet so please 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 write this down because a lot of changes and a lot of things are going to come in and i'm sure your first question is and so what happened because i was a scorpio or i was a um, sagittarian um yeah you was a Sagittarian um, so what is going to happen to that what you can do is work with the energy vibration of the Sagittarians and also the energy vibration of your own new planet because it's not new it was always there they just never tell us because they want us to keep everything in the shape of 12 9 and 7 but it's a 13 planet and even though some people will not touch in it it is a uh, um, it is the right thing for you people to know who you are okay you can either use it to do good or you can either use it to do bad it's your karma and it's your life okay so here we go because you guys have gotten very very nice um, cards so the energy of uh, of this year is going to be the energy of an air you people you people have the energy of uh, wow um the cross with a slang the healers okay so the cross with a slang the healers the cross is fire so you have fire and water you guys are fire and water you have both energy vibration fire and water so you have Sagittarius but you also have water so this is good so this this year is an air energy air so this is powerful because what this is this is doing and what is happening for you guys is that you're going to um, feel these energy of this year is change is duality you all have the energy of fire and water and this is duality okay so let's look at this and let's go and see what is going to be happening for you guys in this year your lucky month is the first three months of the year um, from January until um, April is your most luckiest month of the year January to April as we look at September because 
um, September. Uh, so January until uh, April and September is positive. It's good. <sighs> you guys have a lot of supporting of the water energies. So you guys are going to be transforming yourself and you have the energy of the tower. So it's this year is a transformation year for each and every one of you guys because there is so much there's judgment there's information coming out you're knowing who you are there's the energy of balance justice and listening to your intuition and knowing and you're going to um with the energy of the tower you're going to move the things that you were born in and grew up in and understand and start to open yourself to a different energy vibration and a different sense of understanding who you are because information will be coming out so within your your inner wisdom after you finish listening to this reading you're going to start to awaken your consciousness is going to start to awaken and going to start to research things and this is going to be happening for you guys so this is going to be powerful and there you're going to connect with yourself but yet still you're connecting with your soul um, your soul connection and your spirit guides and this is going to be good because you're going to find your true inner light in November isn't this wonderful this is extremely positive because then you're going to really really find who you are in November so let's start at January January is the energy of an air energy but this is positive this is fantastic this is your wishes and dreams coming true for the people who have been you know fighting against the energies and understanding that I am not really um, 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 Sagittarians because I have this as water energy in me and this this sort of a thing but also a lucky streak for you guys so January is a lucky month February another lucky month a lot of fertilities a lot of kids will be born some people will find out that they're pregnant but yes still this is a month of your financial needs will be met and this is going to be good March one of the most fantastic months for you guys because you have the energy of the Sun whatever you're thinking of starting start it in January if not January start it in February if you're going to publish a book if you're going to do whatever you're doing January and February the three first months of the year is the best to start anything and to go for anything that you want if you want money if whatever it is whatever that can help you in your life the first three months of the year is going to be the most positive as we look forward to April April you have the energy vibration of uh, the horses the energy vibration of uh, um, victory and success victory and success is coming to you guys and this is going to come through a legal situation which is going to happen in May so May is going to be a positive month for you because whatever illegalities that you guys have whatever unjust that was done in May you're going to see this coming up and this is going to be extremely extremely positive for as we move on we are looking at the energy of your guides and angels coming in to um, tell you yes the information that you are receiving is the correct information so this is positive positive so enjoy this this is extremely positive so enjoy this because you're, you are going to be connecting with um, the unseen world and your guides and angels are going to be telling you this is going to be positive this is going to bring you a lot of success because through connecting with your guides and angels they're going to lead you to the right part and you're going to realize how your life is going to change like magic in the month of July um, positive energies for you guys because you're receiving information you're finding out information you're understanding information information breakthroughs things are happening are coming through and this is going to be good for you because here you are understanding what was happening to you guys and this is going to be very positive because you are realizing something information is going to come out about a relationship that you are in or um, 
and people that you are connected with a lot of things you're going to start understanding a lot of things why were you connected with certain types of people that sort of a situation is going to be coming out but it's like you are awakening to who you are and the people around you so these um, two months are going to be connected together because with the information about relationships and stuff that has been in your life you are going to be receiving success this is going to be huge success for a whole lot of you guys it's going to be huge success this is a positive reading you have the star you have the sun and you have the heart this is good it's as if you are just starting out you're just re you're reborn and you're about to born realign yourself and your dna it's okay in um um, in which the Sagittarians got the same thing in um, October your energy vibration is going to come up you're just going to find the power the inner power of who you are you're going to be understanding what is happening to you you're going to realize oh my gosh I'm I'm really finding who I am I'm really connecting to who I am and this is just so powerful for you guys okay this is extremely good as we move forward we have the energy in November a positive positive month of November for you because what is happening is that you have found your true inner light you have found out who you are as a beam on this planet and you're going to use it and I'm asking each and every person out there use it in a positive way do not use your powers or your gift to hurt other people because you will be creating karmas okay last and leads another wonderful energy vibration for you guys and what is happening here is that you are you are really coming to realize how you can um, depower your enemies so it is December is a month where you're going to understand how you can depower your enemies without an even touching them and this is going to be good because you're going to find out that you have the power within you and this is how you just depower all of your enemies your negative the people who have blocked you you're going to depower the blockage in your life and depower the people that has been um, keeping you behind and this is powerful because by doing that you are going to see a wonderful surprising situation coming up in your life this year it's going to be the year of releasing that which you no longer need it's going to be a year of healing it's going to be a year that you're finding out who you are it is going to be a year that you're leaving so many situation people and situation behind and you're accepting this new part and this new journey that is about to start for you and it is going to be positive and wonderful so ladies and gentlemen welcome this is the beginning of your new life so this is powerful this is good this is going to be wonderful I have not seen so many lucky lucky energies I want you to go back and listen to your Sagittarius reading and also your Sun Moon and Rising reading because this is going to be a powerful year for you guys because you're going to be starting to understand yourself and I'm not changing up the reading because I'm going to do your readings the same way as the rest because then you're going to hear that you know I'm doing things different so let's look at the zodiac energies of who you guys are going to be working with this year and remember this is for the people who were born between um, the 29th of November and the 17th of December and I know one person and trust me that is the most wonderful person I've ever met in my entire life this the person he is so wonderful um okay um mercurius and deliverance mercurius and deliverance so for the sun and i really 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 have to find out because this is important for you guys because you are just going to um and know who you are and remember to go back and listen to the energy vibration go back listen to the energy vibration of um, 
what is happening okay mercurius mercurius met the obsolete oh yeah obsolete is not really here so we are going to look at sagittarius mercurius with Ch sagittarian channel your restless energies towards a goal so isn't this wonderful so if you were born between the hours of um 12 and 6 p.m you need to channel your restless energies towards your goal okay channel your restless energies towards your goal for you sun people now let's look and see what is happening with the sun energies and you go oh yeah obsolete <laughs> okay um the sun and mercury okay the sense of urgency you feel is your soul calling listen and swiftly follow where it leads you so again it's the sun and mercury the sense of your urgency you feel you feel your soul is calling listen and swiftly follow where it is leading you so isn't this wonderful yes it is it's wonderful it's beautiful so let's look at the um the moon people and the moon people you have Sagittarius and taurus okay Sagittarius and taurus now you're in for what you moon people because that's psychic going on there okay so the moon people have to deal with saturn and um uh, saturnus and um taurus and let's look and see um the tauruses because you people are fire people so you people um moon in um, um waiting through the reckless the restless until you can see clearly so some of you are waiting through the restless until you can see clearly and this is this is good to do honestly this is good to do it's better to just wait through the reckless until you can see um, a better before you make any movement okay and that is very very positive that is the best thing to do because you guys learning about this new situation that is happening around you okay we're going to go forward and we're looking at a Saturnus and um, your goals needs full your goals need your full attention now your goals need your full attention now so your goals need really your full attention now so this is very important for a lot of people out there whatever goals you're working on it's going to be needing your full attention in this year so we are moving on and we're going to see what the ascendance masters have to do and would like to say to you obsolete um obsolete um Manson, because you are just about to find yourself and it says nature i thank bless love the entire kingdom and you have the number three so obviously a lot of ascendance masters are working with you people between who was born november 29th until december 17 you are not sagittarius and neither um you are a totally different zodiac um energy okay so the natural kingdom because you're an healer it's good to be and thankful because you heal the nature kingdom it's good to go out and this is why i understand that they gave you this the nature kingdom was created from the arts of god the ninth dimension master pan direct the element beams that support nature and archangel Polkrick, the angel of nature lovingly holding and protecting nature as it energize you raise your frequency and purify and heals you your guidance is to honor nature beauty and life forces if possible go out into the meadows forests mountains lakes and rivers and let nature recharge your balance and yield you a love 
and respect for the nature and the essential is essential for your ascension process and that of this planet so remember you're an healer so you need to cleanse yourself every time that you do something that you take up other people energy you need to cleanse yourself and get that out and this is going to be good for you I'm working with the Aztec um, energies and let's see what is happening for you guys what are they saying uh, the Oracle of Daphne the Oracle of Daphne some people gets the Oracle of Daphne and there's another energy there's not a three energies so some people have the Oracle of Daphne some people have uh, the number 19 which is uh, reflection and some people have um, up in the air number 18 which is in the reverse form so I know why this happened is because there is a lot of energies and beams that wants to bring out their messages and I was pushed I was not really pushed I was told I have to start this in this year and I knew from last year because I sent out and I gave out the video so let's look and see what they're saying in the upright and the reverse form okay so let's look um, the Oracle of Daphne uh, is a very very positive the Oracle of Daphne is very positive and why is this so positive the Oracle of Daphne why is it a very positive is because it is bringing out um, positive energy vibration that is happening to us to all of us and it says uh, the price of the is the prince the princess at the um the left nah, sit up on an eye three-wheel stool um steams gently raised from a small first in at ground nearby a robe a Pisces Pre um, prepare to write upon an open scroll while while in this form the princess in this scene we see two important keys in the psychic experience perception and interpretation okay so um, that is it is perception and interpretation this is what is coming up and it says when you receive this card you're in a time of great insights and psychic power even if you don't recognize it yet it is aligning very close to your consciousness because you have used this gift so many times in so many past lifetimes you may get images or feelings without knowing how to interpret them take note as you picture both your psychic and perception and their interpretation just as you gave the Oracle of Daphne a profound awareness your psychic and perception and their interpretation gives you a powerful insight and an ass stick vision of the world so this is wonderful and this is for some people so i'm going to read the three cards see which one of them vibrate with you as we move on we're going to look at number 19 is reflection um number 19 is is reflection it's as if it's a tarot deck and it, but it's it's a weird sort of deck to um you really 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 have to understand this deck okay so we're going at reflection so this is good um it's shown a trip particularly a trip over water more important it can reveals that you now have a direction line to your psychic gifts you are also more aware of your emotions and more reflective over them you recognize the difference between your intuition voice which is calm and um, assured and your lower emotional um, compass which is loud which is loud and urgency 
urgency and sometimes fear base let yourself gain even greater clarity and control over your emotion now this also could be a great time for you to take classes in meditation psychic development um, consulting healing and other um, physiological and inspirations of the heart if you have such an intention and interest your yin side is wide open and your receptive is I trust your inner voice and you will be guided to greatness so this is wonderful and this is positive the last and final card is the number 18 so well, this is for you guys so perfect because you are now finding out and about to go on a new journey of who you are here we have number 18 up in the hair in reverse a situation that has been up in the hair has come down to hurt there still may be some unknown element but you can intuitively and actually see everything much more clearer now more than that you can finally enter the picture and begin more influence to bring in some ways soon you can participate in the highest capacity the trust that you held in the situation before has borne much fruit now you can understand the situation more fully and act on it more um, with purposefully so this is good because it's as if some people had felt that you were more than just a person and now you are realizing that you were true you felt as if you have certain sort of a thing and you were different you have a sort of different energy and a sort of different power and that is true and this you are going to feel and this is going to come in to you and this is going to be perfect okay and the energy that you have which is um, in the reverse form flame of wisdom crown the flames of wisdom crown I am open to all of life wisdom and share it with gratitude I am open to all of life wisdom and share it with gratitude I am open to all of life wisdom and share it with gratitude this is wonderful this is good this is positive okay so we're moving on and we're seeing what is the last energy from the angels of abundancy for you guys to see what is going to happen for you guys and you have pay yourself first pay yourself first make sure your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you're paid this loving form of self-care ensure that you will have savings to invest in your present and your future so this is wonderful so always whenever anything is coming up you and whenever you receive anything learn to put aside some for re the rainy day okay so I um, would like to ask you all of you people who were born between November 29 and December 17 please leave a message about this video I would like you to listen to normally um, the Sagittarian visit um, um, the Sagittarian um, um, videos and then come back and listen to this video and leave a message about which one resonate and vibrate more with you what is happening too is a lot of you are going to realize who you are understanding who you are and if you're out of work and you're without the work go back take the time listen remember what is it that you always like doing remember go back listen to and try and remember that which you always like doing and then you're going to connect yourself with that you're a healer so you can either study medicine or either um, do reiki or um, massage of that sort of a thing because you're an healer so go back and understand this go back and and go it's a it's a rebirth It's a year of rebirth for you guys okay so I want to say thank you for being here. Namaste.